Hey, hey wench. wench, get in the carriage. We're about to watch some trashy reality TV. I Wanna Marry Harry was a reality TV show that aired in 2014 that left viewers wondering how did they get away with this? The goal of the show was simple, trick 12 American women into thinking they're dating Prince Harry. From the beginning, the production team meticulously engineered this experience for the girls. In an interview, we find out that before arriving at the estate, the girls were separated in hotel rooms for a week without phones or internet and weren't allowed to talk to each other. The show was an unethical train wreck that was pulled from airing in the US after only four episodes. In comes Matt, a 23-year-old environmental consultant who kind of looks like Prince Harry. My job specifically involves clearing up oil spills. What if they created an oil spill for him to clean up? <laughs> just for the video. Ryan Seacrest with like 2,000 pounds of oil, crude oil. <laughs> and he just so happens to look a lot like the world's most eligible prince. <laughs> prince Harry of Wales. Here's the thing. He does kind of look like Prince Harry if he appeared in one of your Benadryl dreams. At the beginning of the episode, Matt goes through some intensive Princess Diary style training to step into the role of a convincing Prince Harry. He also has a butler, Kingsley, who acts as his confidant, informant, and honestly just a great wingman overall. Personal butler. Good morning, sir. My name is Kingsley. I'm at your service. The girls are immediately heavily typecast. Megan instantly becomes the villain. I'm smart, I'm funny, I'm beautiful. I'm the package deal. And a lot of these girls don't have anything. She's like a walking positive affirmation. This is probably what a therapist would tell me to say to myself every morning when I look in the mirror. I want some carne asada fries so bad. Kingsley, get the carne asada fries. <laughs> Would you like some saucy verde? <laughs> Our fake Prince Harry emerges from a helicopter surrounded by security. Is that who I think it is? It becomes clear that these girls don't really know what Prince Harry looks like, and this whole experiment is one Google search away from crumbling. Is he Prince Harry or is he just some redhead? That's Prince Harry. I really don't sound ignorant saying this, but I don't know what Prince Harry looks like. And that's the casting process summed yeah. up. Would you fall in love with a man who looks like a police sketch of Prince Harry? <laughs> You're hired. Yes. You're on the show. Khakis. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I love a man in khakis. I already love him already. It's hot. Mm -hmm. These girls, it sounds like they would fall in love with a, a gap mannequin. What? Well done, sir. Oh, it's all right. I like the idea that in that Ottoman is the real Prince Harry. <laughs> kind of like in that one Harry Potter movie. My penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. I'm Rose, I'm 22 years old. I'm a preschool teacher and kind of a naughty one. Well, let's not create the sexy preschool teacher archetype. I dress all cute at school, but then go home with me and see what I was wearing underneath. Does she think every nobody else wears underwear but her? These newfangled things called panties. Our fake Prince Harry is introduced as Sir by Kingsley. This evening, there will be a masquerade ball in the main garden, and you will all be able to get to know Sir then. It's just cryptic enough that we're not exposing too much, but it is formal enough that this could imply maybe he's royal. The girls are good and liquored up. Now they're getting dressed for the masquerade ball. My name is Carly Marie Hawkins. I'm 24 years old. The fact that I'm intelligent sets me apart. No bigger dig Dis. has been made in the history of reality TV. Matt is overwhelmed. He's shitting, he's pissing, he's crying, he's scared. So is this your estate? How old are you, sir? Are you a wild guy? Is polo your favorite sport? So the way you originally found it. The head just going bang, 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 bang. It's called the fight or flight response. We immediately find out that Matt finds American women to be a little abrasive and harsh. You? I mean, I figured I can't pick them. That's the other thing about American girls. Volume. Volume. <laughs> they probably heard you in the next town, but... The fact that he does this and then also doubles down on it mm. in front of her. Saying volume is crazy. Maggie has quite a few drinks and is immediately typecast as the drunk. You're not a porn star, baby. Another cosmopolitan star. This is my, this is my fifth. Very, very high. Right? 
I'm sorry, but she looks hungover in that interview. Whatever. Yeah! Holy f what was that? I don't know if it's because they're just wearing masks, but Matt really has a thing for eyes and eye contact and twinkling eyes and bedroom eyes, and you'll hear a lot of that. She had naughty come to bed eyes. <laughs> it's hard to tell anything with the mask on, but there was some real good eye contact tonight. The eye contact. Oh eye contact. We were making ocular coitus. It's time for the face reveals. The girls nervously take off their masks and hope that the Prince Harry in front of them likes them. I know I would get unlucky and have one that fit me like goggles and it would be like <laughs> <laughs> She had these like gorgeous huge eyes that seemed to be jumping out at me and ready for eye coitus. Now that the girls have revealed themselves, it's time for Matt to take off his mask. It is him. It's gonna be one woman with Prince Harry. Do you think the contestants on the show all wear contact lenses or glasses and they misplace them? So sorry, ladies. Production lost all of your contact lenses last night. On elimination night, one girl is kicked off the estate while another girl is put in the crown suite, which is a special room that guarantees a private date with Prince Harry the next day. Who could be moving into the crown suite, sir? And then who would you like to send home this evening? For the first elimination, Rose and Leah are both on the chopping block. Leah gets sent home. My fairy tale is probably not over. It's just gonna be a little less fancy than this. And then he tells Rose. But then you're quite loud. He's tripling down on it. Loud. Or slightly brazen. I know you flew in from Yappersville, but <laughs> things are different around here. Loud. Bonk. Or slightly Brazen. Double bonk. He pulls Rose aside, calls her loud, but still gives her the crown suite. I would like you to move into the crown suite. <gasps> Honey, thank you. I like you, even though your speaking volume is that of a Boeing 767 taking off. Ew, I mean, I figure I can't pick up. You're loud as fuck. Put her up in the crown suite. I think the crown suite was a tactic that the producers used to create a little animosity between the girls. It's just so fake. She's so happy that she's getting to go in the crown seat. <laughs> Rose and Matt have a cheeky little brunch, and he says, if you could guess what my name is, what do you think it would be? I would say something really British. Mm-hmm. Like, Perry, really or... I don't know. Mm -hmm. His Royal Highness Prince of Wales. <laughs> Matt acknowledges it and just kind of moves on, not really confirming. Matt then takes her on a secluded beach date and he accidentally lets something slip. Well, if the date of a royal can't be treated well, then how can she? A date with a royal? Did I say that? Oh my God. After Rose and Matt come back from a date, Kelly starts to get a little territorial. We can greet the royal couple. Uh, they're not. <laughs> We still have to go on dates with him, and they're not a couple. They're, they're not, not a couple. They're literally not a couple. We all have to go on dates with him. This is literally the first date. The girls are treated to a lavish dinner. Mm. With succulent seafood. That's a Little Mermaid character. That thing had a speaking role in The Little Mermaid. As eliminations continue, the heat rises. Maggie goes buck wild. I enjoy a cocktail. We're not Maggie. I'm a f person. Maggie is in denial that she is a drunk. That's fine. Megan is really falling into her role as the villain here. She gets into a fight with Jackie and it gets pretty heated. And your head is lodged so far up your ass. I could, My eat, ass. I could eat alphabet soup and something out that made more sense than what you're saying right now. I think Jackie is not princess material. Andrea is voted off. And honestly, it's really funny because she says, I don't normally go for a ginger with bad teeth. He's not my type. Huh. Literally, I was gonna break up with you. Oh, well, thank God. Thank God you kicked me off. And then Kim is put in the crown suite. Kim wakes up in the crown suite and is treated to a delightful little breakfast as well as a hot air balloon date with Sir himself. Oh my God, I could be talking to Prince Harry. What am I gonna say? But when I'm with him, it's it goes really smooth. It's like I'm talking 
to just a normal person. I know something you don't know. Kim and Matt take a little walk in the woods and they're interrupted by some paparazzi. To further the royal ruse, there's one more surprise on this special date. Oh. Oh. Back at the estate, the girls are fighting. It got, it got bad last night. I don't really have too much in common with the girls. The fact that I'm intelligent sets me apart. I'm pursuing an education in cell and molecular biology. She is literally calling everybody stupid. The fact that I'm not an imbecile really sets me apart. The girls are basically fighting the entire time and it doesn't help that production is keeping them drunk the whole show. It's like a sangria IV drip. Matt takes three of the girls on a little boating date. Kelly kind of sets herself apart as one of the true believers. Prince Charming is Prince Harry and I know it. Harry decides to take Kelly out for a little private time on the boat. If you had to say who your perfect man would be, who would you? Prince Harry. Kelly's in a Your Name fanfiction right now. She shows off a little bit for him. A backflip or a dive? You can do it. I don't really want you to do a backflip. I just did one. Um, please don't I'm not put yourself to. on any of these. She hits her head. I love how many times he's like, no, Please, don't no, do it. But then she came up smiling. Kelly seems like the sort of girl that will go to extreme lengths to impress me. It's like really hot when she breaks her C5 and C6 vertebrae for me to impress me. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but I think she could have a headache tomorrow. I love that her getting concussed gave him the ick. The I mm -hmm. in TBI is the ick. I had Nick the boat butt. My Prince Charming jumped in and it's sort of a storybook fairy tale. Now it's time for the royal pool party. The royal twerk party. Normally these girls would be out of my league. And so I think I've walked straight into heaven. <laughs> I love that he acknowledges this isn't a probable situation. He's not letting his prefrontal cortex stop him from like having fun. Yeah. He's like, I'll let them grind all over me. I'm gonna let them grind all over me in my royal crown jewels. I wanna make love to you in this club. I don't see nothing wrong with a bit of bump and grind. Twerking, jolly good. Shouldn't be legal. This making me have an organism in my trousers. This is where Matt says he realized that Kelly has fallen in love with him just by the way she looks at him when it's like she might be looking at you like that because she's concussed. I noticed Kelly has barely taken her eyes from me at all and it, it would appear that she has fallen for me. She's really into me like she's got like this dazed look. One of her pupils is bigger than the other. <laughs> Matt eliminates Carly because she wasn't giving him much. And Karina gets the crown sweet. Disclaimer, this is the episode where Fox decides we need to pull the plug on this show. Karina has breakfast with Matt. When he leaves, she notices something. Production has left a Photoshop picture of Matt and Prince William on one of the tables. Matt was like, could you like Photoshop my biceps really big? Could you like Photoshop some overhead lighting and I have like a maybe have like a sick tricep pump or something? And it confirms to her that he is indeed Prince Harry. Is that you and your brother? Yes. We're really close, so I just take it around. The Prince Harry belief is off the charts. He looks a lot like William. System order. So we've got another group date. So he chooses Chelsea and Maggie to go horseback riding with him, and the rest of the girls get to muck stalls. Yay! I'm just, this is hard. Well, we need to learn this, all. yeah. Let's and then it. we can show we can do this and he'll like us more. Kelly was like, I actually love poop. I love horse poop. How did he know? You're not true. Really? <laughs> you know, it'd be funny if one of these girls was a hardcore her horse girl. He was like trying to talk to her on a one-on-one -on -one, and she was like, Should we make a move? Can you stop talking? <laughs> Can you leave me and Buttercup alone? Actually, you're sitting really poorly in your saddle. Do you even know how to post a trot? She was like at the stable every day. He could never g get a word in with her. She just, <laughs> we go on the show because we hear there are horses. 
Huh, it like, I actually haven't ever talked to her ever. She's just riding horses all day. <laughs> Chelsea and Maggie have a private lunch date with Matt after they go horseback riding, and Chelsea calls Maggie a drunk in front of Harry. I would love some beer. Yeah. I would <laughs> love it. We yeah. know, man. <laughs> we know. <laughs> That wasn't nice. I'm just joking. You're really funny, though. I'm just joking. You're, You're really, really funny, funny, though. <laughs> what? It just couldn't have been more awkward. <laughs> ah, brother. When we get back home, the girls fight again. We know, Maggie. If you were so embarrassed, you wouldn't be getting piss-ass drunk every night. I'm just saying that. Stop rolling your eyes because I'm trying just to stop clapping your hands at me then. Like And now we have a date with Karina and Matt. He takes her on a helicopter ride. I'm so excited. There's Buckingham Palace. And there's my house. I, I mean Buckingham Palace. Palace. What if we turn it into Buckingham Palace? <laughs> they share a kiss and she calls him adorable. So things are really looking up. Just an automatic physical chemistry and connection. You're so adorable. He's like, she was all over me, the chemistry and attraction. And she's like, you're, you're adorable. So adorable. You're so cutesy. My cutesy little boy. I just want to dress you up like one of my dollies. The producers have some fake fans scream and take pictures of Prince Harry. They were shouting, Harry, Harry from the bridge. I think she was convinced. So Karina tells the girls about the paparazzi. The girls were uh, screaming and screaming. Getting this again confirms that it's Harry. It's confirmed. It's definitely him. Chelsea decides to pull herself out of the show because of the drama. We hate to see you go, but like, I wish you well. Thank you. Same here. I hate to see you go, but you should. <laughs> Miss Karina. Yeah? Sir would like you to join him in the master suite for drinks. <gasps> oh, oh, I love you! Wait till you find out all about me. Yeah. But what you see here is, is me. It's you. Mm -hmm. it sounds like an android trying to be human. What you see here is me. What I am Prince Harry. God save the queen. God save the queen. I'm real. Um, um, except you're not. <laughs> except this is all a, an elaborate scheme and a lie. In my tricked out club penguin house, this is all me, babe. It's all me. Shit. Like, I can what? treat you like a queen. The girls have some interesting conversations at dinner time. Just tell us how big it is. That's all we want to know. <laughs> Yeah, because if it's little, I'm out. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I just want to spend time with them. Like, I want to be in the ground suite. Annalisa pulls Matt aside and lets him know, I don't believe you're Prince Harry. What kind of responsibilities do you have? I shouldn't, I can't really say. Okay. But they're, they're all family related. I don't think she is falling for the Prince Harry charade at all. I still doubt that he is Prince Harry. He doesn't really have that many freckles. Now we have a royal hot tub date. I've been dreaming of being in the hot tub with Prince Harry. But... All right, truth or dare? Dare. If Carly were here, the fact that I'm intelligent sets me apart. She would be like, is it true that Prince Charles has millions in offshore tax havens? I dare you to FaceTime the queen right now. <laughs> I guess we're kind of interrupting some eye sex between Matt and Meghan. I'm sitting directly across from Babe, and he's eye-humping me. <laughs> We're having great steamy hot eye sex. <laughs> and there's a little footsie action going on under the bubbles. <laughs> he's just been like playing footsie with like the, the jet. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing footsie with the, the other jet, side of the, the jet. The jet's like sucking his toe and she was like, he's like, she was sucking my toe. <laughs> she was just snorking on my, on what? my toe. She's a freaky one. Right on the toes. <laughs> I am wetting myself with laughter. He peed in the hot tub. I soiled myself in the hot tub right at that moment. <laughs> Time for another elimination. Kelly and Annalisa get pulled aside for eliminations. Oh no. <laughs> Matt gets rid of Annalisa and says it's a personality issue, but we know it's because she knows he's not Prince Harry. I didn't feel she was completely genuine. She doesn't seem to be that down to earth. I didn't get the right sort of feelings from Annalisa. Yeah, so she didn't think that I was Prince Harry. So yeah, she definitely is not down to earth and she's like not chill. 
Yeah, she didn't think I was Prince Harry, and I am not Prince Harry, so she's not very genuine for that. And Kelly is given the crown suite. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, <laughs> Don't fall off the chair. Do you think she reads a lot of, like, Wattpad novels, and they say, like, I melted? And oh. She's never actually seen what it means to melt, right? So she's like, oh, I... This probably calls for me to melt right now. I think production was using Kelly as a pawn to bolster the belief amongst the girls. Kelly believes fully that I am Prince Harry. They have Matt approach Kelly and he kind of got away with saying, yeah, I'm Prince Harry without actually saying it. I think you possibly more than anyone. I think you may realize who I am. Matt takes Kelly on her date and honestly, as a viewer, it's a little lackluster. How amazing this is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eyes closed. Oh, okay. okay. Eyes closed, stomach empty, these bumpy cobblestone roads. This poor girl with her concussion is going to have the worst motion sickness of her life. When you have to perform the Epley maneuver on your first date. The head is then further rotated another 90 degrees. Matt takes Kelly on a date to an American themed diner. What we were doing is completely irrelevant when it comes to Kelly. He just admits, yeah, Kelly can get the budget date. She already believes I'm Prince Harry, budget date. She opens up to him about being a childhood leukemia survivor. As a child, I had leukemia. But it kind of makes him feel bad for her. He's lying to somebody and she's kind of opening up about her life. And yet, here I am deceiving her. It is definitely a lot harder telling lies to Kelly. It's really tough. The girls make fun of her date behind her back and they think she's in the friend zone. Oh, that's kind of stinky that you went to the diner. They went to the sock hop. Clearly she's in the friend zone. In the middle of episode five, a pivotal moment happens where Kingsley comes out and says, this is in fact Harry, Prince of Wales. His Royal Highness, Prince Harry of Wales. And of course, there's one person here who always knew. I've known from the start and was confirmed um, the other day. At this point, Kelly is being portrayed as like a fangirl. Kelly is a psychotic, like, stage five clinger. When it comes down to the wire, I will do anything it takes to get him. Now the girls have a slumber party with Prince Harry. This is just starting to sound like a Kindle Unlimited book. And Megan is just throwing her boobs up in his face, you know? Kelly and Megan get into a fight because Megan grabbed Matt's butt. It'd be worth it. You just gave me the dirtiest look <laughs> in the world. Matt pulls Megan and Maggie for eliminations. He has a chat with Maggie and kicks her out of the estate. I don't know if it was Prince Harry or if it was me she was genuinely falling for. Matt is starting to feel really bad. I broke. She's human. He pulls Megan aside and calls her arrogant. I like confidence, but I think there's a fine line between being confident or being arrogant. He always has to humble them before throwing them in the crown suite. Maybe work on that personality in the crown suite. He said, here are the keys to the crown suite. Cry about it, babe. I have to give her the crown suite key, which I'm not happy about because she's a fake bitch. Alrighty, I'm passing off the tour. I'm surprised Kelly hasn't like booby trapped the keys. They're like the shocky, the shocky gum. <laughs> Here you go. Ugh. Megan's kind of caught off guard in the morning when Matt comes in for breakfast. And he's dressed for the day. And I'm in my PJs in front of Prince Harry. And I feel like I look like such a ding dong. So it's been confirmed that I am Prince Harry and there's no going back. What if he starts to believe it? I'm Prince Harry. While this is happening, the girls are going through boot camp. It's a series of obstacle courses and they're racing to win a private date with Prince Harry. And Kelly's taking this shit seriously. You are about to experience the type of training that Prince Harry and all royal princes went through. Kelly makes it clear she is in it to win it. And I got a big elbow in the beginning from Miss Kelly. This is like Hacksaw Ridge. What if 
Kelly like actually sets some records here. <laughs> they have to like drug test her because they're like this. I, she's going to get drafted. We, <laughs> Harry, something came up and I can't date you anymore. I hope you understand. Kingsley's like, Kelly had to leave. She was too engrossed in her new training. Later in the night, Megan gets the most romantic date we've seen this far. They get to know each other over some glasses of wine. So when was your last relationship? She's caught me off guard. He's like scrolling through yeah. like his Rolodex. Of <laughs> yeah. He's Prince strolling through the royal mind palace to try to find <laughs> the correct information. <laughs> Two years ago. While this is happening, the girls are over at the estate and they're spying on Megan. Fireworks start to go off and Kelly is pissed. No, don't freaking tell me there's no fireworks. Oh my god. Fireworks? They're so fucking pretty. I'm getting pissed off every more firework that comes out. No. They were supposed to be nuclear warheads. Kingsley's like, all right, girls, it's time to learn about the 710 rule of nuclear fallout. It is beyond romantic. Oh my god. Babe! This is amazing. OMG, babe. Like he made it all himself. He's like, it's not much, babe. Well, he didn't, it was pitch, nothing. He didn't pitch this tent, but he'll be pitching one later. A bit of hanky panky. She goes back after the date and lets the girls know what exactly transpired during the date. He like threw me on the bed and made out for a while. No. Roll the tape. Roll the tape. Did he? <laughs> no. She jumped on the bed. <laughs> this seems like a big turning point in the show. Producers have carefully manipulated the variables in order to make sure these girls are harboring nothing but hostility towards each other. They're focusing on conflicts within the group of girls, taking some pressure off of the fake prince and the production crew. On Kelly's private date, she chooses to snitch the entire time. We love it. We love when somebody chooses to snitch the whole time. It's a major sabotage to your own relationship, but sure, it'll get a couple people out. Prince Harry, please tell me, do you know who the real Megan is? Because she's not real. She's the one that started all the brawls that I never told you about. Matt is dissociating while having massage, probably the most unrelaxing massage of his life. She actually is like really crude and mean. She's the one that started all the brawls that I never told you about. I'm sorry to tell you. No, you're not. I'm Girl. so sorry to tell you. Do you want to hear more? I'm so sorry to tell you, but I I immediately told you the minute we sat down. And we know when we've seen these dating shows, that is sabotage to your own relationship. It kind of obfuscates their feelings for you and the other person. And they're like, who do I believe? I have to get rid of both of them. All the girls go to a pub with Matt and it gets really awkward really quick. There are some people that like to have their voice heard mm -hmm. and are not ladylike. <laughs> May put up a front because they have big chest and beautiful hair. Basically, the girls call Megan a bitch in front of Matt and he doesn't know what to do. Sometimes you should shut your mouth. And be just a genuine person. I am being a genuine no, person. You're no, you're like, not. No, you're like, not. No, you're not. No, you're not. This is like when you're at a sleepover and your friend's parents start arguing and you're like, what do I, where do I look? They're interrupted by some fake paparazzi. Oh no, where are you going? Stand. This was a smart move. He, the man didn't know what to do, so he clicked a little button yep. and had production send in some paparazzi to just like, yeah, he mix it up. First date hack, if it's getting awkward and you don't know what to say, call the pop. It's time for another round of eliminations. Harry pulls a few girls aside this time. It might be the British accent, but Matt seems to get away with insulting the women to their faces so many times. Or if you realize you had been a bit of a bitch in some circumstances. Was that princely of him to say? Were you aware that you were being a raging bitch? A raging, Perchance. meddling, trifling harlot. Perchance. Matt gets rid of Jackie. Thank you again. Thank you. And then he calls Megan up to his room. Megan thinks that she's gonna spend the night in his room. He's gonna ask me to stay in the master suite with him. Nope, he gets rid of her. I'm 100% surprised by his decision to make. Megan is pissed that Kelly sabotaged her. She 100% sabotaged me. Kim and Matt finally share their first kiss 
and Kim gets put in the crown suite for a second time. We have four girls left at this point. They all seem to believe he is Prince Harry. Matt's days as the fake Prince Harry are numbered. He'll soon have to reveal his true identity to the girl he chooses. Do you think that's like the ultimate post-concert depression, pretending and living like Prince Harry for three weeks, four weeks? He goes to make some tea in the morning. Kingsley! Kingsley. He decides to take them all to a luxury treehouse. He has a date with Karina where they just make out the whole time. I don't know whether his connection with the other girls is like stronger than mine. But their date is exactly what I would have had my Sims characters do as a kid. Well, I want to get to know her better. Pool make out for a couple hours? Let's get Fweeky in a pool. He was literally like, what if we put our Minecraft beds together? He has a date with Kelly. You look beautiful today. Oh, thanks. Can't like the hair straight. Kelly's upset that she hasn't been able to kiss Prince Harry yet. Um, that you wanted to know about me? I just want to see if you're good at kissing. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to kiss him. But you need to show me that later or something because you're just making me hang and this is not cool. Yeah, if we could get like maybe a, an itinerary to see when, um, you know, we can do that whole kissing thing. Uh, I sent you like, a Google invite for a makeout sesh. I'm sorry, but that was her way of wanting to kiss right then and there. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I'll talk to Kingsley. We can schedule it. I have to ask my mom and dad. I would kiss you, but my mom and dad said no. He has a date with Rose. Because I feel like you've drifted slightly. Well, what can I do to no. get back in the good graces? Kim and Matt make out in the hot tub. Should we go for an after dinner? Relax. Kelly's pouring out her bedpan on the second floor. <laughs> Kelly, Why does she have a bedpan? Producers heard Kelly's wishes and they are coming true. I just wanna see if you're good I just wanna kissing. see if you're good A toga party is announced. We're playing Toga Twister. So whatever it takes for him to see the sexy side, I'm gonna do it. Thank you for being a good shoulder straddle. You just Prince stay there, Kelly. We're playing suck and blow with the royal. This guy is a party boy. He likes to have a good time. Swallow. Yum, yum, yum. He was, he was using so much sucking force to make sure it didn't fall. He eats it just so they don't have to do another round. Sorry, we can't play this anymore. I ate it. We can't do any more round. My favorite part is the kissing contest. It's just a blatant kissing contest, blindfolded. When Karina's making out with him, I'm like, damn, she's a good kisser. Damn. What if she kissed me like that? <sighs> You're by. And Rose, she sucks at kissing. <laughs> like really bad, really bad. Kelly is judging the other girls for their kissing styles and then she goes in and hits him with the wombo combo. What was that? She's eating him, she's eating his face. I think it's gonna be really sweet. Um, and then she just kind of like sticks her tongue down his throat. She reassembled the cracker that he ate. <laughs> her tongue is spelunking down his oral cavity. And breathe. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like they made a baby. I thought the way Kim kissed him was so boring. You know, like a caterpillar sitting on a log. Get your tongue in there like an oil drill. I didn't know you could contract pink eye in less than 30 seconds. Ah! Tells us that I'm the best kisser, whoever A was, and it was me. <sighs> it's annoying, but whatever. She's like, what the frick do you mean? I literally was kissing my pillow all night practicing. <laughs> Kelly's like, but I got so deep. She was like shadow boxing his uvula. <laughs> the girls are questioning him about his family and he slips up about an age. Um, he's 30. Rose decides she no longer believes that this is Prince Harry. I know for a fact Prince William is two years older than Prince Harry. Do you think Kelly reached his brain and it was like a partial lobotomy? Some information spilled out of his brain? <laughs> yeah. Karina shows the girls a picture of her ex-boyfriend that she keeps in her wallet and Kelly decides to use this as ammunition. So Prince Harry's the second man of your dreams and you're gonna take him away from me? I'm gonna do something about this. Did Kelly even know about Prince Harry before this started? 
She's like new to the fandom. She's ARMY. She is ARMY. All of the girls are given an opportunity to plan their own date with Prince Harry. Today, I plan a date for Prince Harry. It's going to take place in a chapel, and we're going to walk down the aisle, and the queen will be there. We're going to get married. Kelly decides to take him on a cute little bike ride. But I know the other girls, if they're singing in the rain, they'd be freaking out because their hair would be going crazy. It's a stormy day in London town. Can't go outside, can't roam around. I'll just, you know, I'll just make this interesting. Kim, knowing that Prince Harry is adventurous, plans bungee jumping. <laughs> Could be fun. Have you ever done no. this before? You've never bungee jumped? No, I haven't. Now Matt maybe isn't so adventurous and he's practically shitting himself. He's just sitting there absolutely terrified. And he just wasn't looking at me. This crane setup could not be more scary. No, what is this, like a David Dobrik video? Like this <laughs> doesn't actually look that secure. I mean, I guess we could do some sort of bungee jumping. Yeah, we'll um, we'll workshop it. Matt also ends this by saying that Kim hasn't let loose enough, which I find to be quite interesting. If there's a drawback to Kim, I think it's because she hasn't completely let herself go. I'm sorry, does Matt Hicks not have his guard up a little bit? His royal guard up a little bit? <laughs> Karina plans a wine tasting date. She decides here that she really is falling for him. I definitely think I'm falling in love with Harry. Rose and Matt have kind of an awkward date where he's wondering, what happened to our chemistry? We used to get along. Something seems to be a bit wrong and it's hard to put my finger on it. Rose is kind of giving hints about like, maybe she doesn't care who he is. But I mean, I'm like realistic. I know like we're not, you know. Uh? Did he ask you about your ex? Um, no, he didn't ask me about like my last relationship. Karina is still in love with her old boyfriend. That's She's adding that to the, her database of blackmail. She's like the Rita Skeeter of this whole thing. It's time for eliminations. Matt pulls aside Kelly and gives her the crown suite. Holy That's how you react when you find out your sibling's having a baby. That's how time. you react if you win the lottery. Holy what are you polishing? <laughs> Um, the royal jewels. <laughs> it's almost like she's more of a fangirl than somebody who's in a relationship or attracted to him. It's so impersonal when somebody's like, I want you to stay. And you're like, oh, yes. I did not know you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, we're not here, lady. <laughs> He's like leaning in for a kiss and she's like, yes, 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 shit, yes, 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 yes. yes. You're still here for a reason. And that reason is because production told me that Rose doesn't believe that I'm Prince Harry, so I have to get rid of her for sure. It's like the Christmas spirit. The Christmas spirit level. She's gonna be the kid who accidentally is like, Santa's not real, and the whole class stops. And then all of a sudden you ruin it for everybody else. Yeah. Matt pulls aside Rose and she basically says, I don't care who you are. I'm being realistic about who you are. I still like you. I don't know, it doesn't feel quite right. I think I'm realistic about, you know, who you are and everything and... And we have a producer trick where it seems like Rose says, I know you're not Prince Harry. In an interview, Rose says that she didn't actually say this and they just kind of clipped it together. My name is Matt Hicks. I'm really sorry. Okay. Hi. See you later. Him leaning in for like a, maybe a peck goodbye. I'm sorry, but the head hang. And now I just sent home a girl I think really liked me for me. He finally realizes that that maybe wasn't in his best interest. You know, the royal ruse is up and she still kind of wants to go on a date with me. Something about Kelly is just making me really anxious right now. I don't know if she would throw us under the bus. She would, and she would be driving it. She would throw you under the bus and back up a couple times. There are three girls left, and they all seem to be convinced that they are dating Prince Harry. The girls share a cab ride together, and they kind of joke about 
Maybe we can get together with one of his high profile friends if things don't work out with Harry. You are going to set us up with one of your friends. You won't have me, but I'll give you two of my friends. Kelly is fuming over this. I'm the only girl here for the right reasons. The girls are worried about Kelly possibly blackmailing them or feeding him misinformation. Kelly might hurt my chances of being with Harry. Matt and Kelly have a lunch date. Why do you do everything so right? I've been taught to do it right. Can you see your home or is it around that way? It's pretty much behind that building. Yeah, that's my pad. That's my place. Sorry, I'm like so embarrassed. It's like, I forgot to clean up. She's like, eh. I put it into Google Maps. That was the wrong direction. Um, I actually have a compass and it points towards your house. I literally air, I went on a, a mission on my tandem bike and I air tagged the palace and you, your coordinates are a little off. Kelly is trying so hard to snitch. Karina was like, if I go home, I'll just will get with one of his best friends. And I was like, I'm not having it with me. Mm. I think that's a little backwards. She's a professional tattletale. Yeah. This is not like the honesty Olympics. Like if we think think about it, like the core of the show, it's unethical. It's predicated on a lie. Do you know what's in uh, Karina's wallet? I can't say I've looked through Karina's wallet. Should you be telling me what's in Karina's wallet? No. He's like, I literally wouldn't care if Karina had a boyfriend and he was here. I hope she's married. It's none of my business. Well, I'm not the ambassador of truth here. At this point, Matt doesn't want the other girls ruined for him. He doesn't want Kelly to ruin the other options. Matt said, keep it to yourself. Karina and Matt share a romantic date overlooking the city. Karina looks absolutely stunning and she's got a really sexy twinkle in her eyes. Did you see the security guard? Oh my God. And this is where Matt asks her if she's over her ex. Do you Bye. think you're completely over him or do you still feel like that? Um, I think I am. Cleared, you passed the test. And lastly, we have a date with Kim. Things seem to be going really well for Kim and Matt. Not many guys take me on dates like this. Does it matter where the dates are, do you think, or? Mm -mm. You could literally be like working in the oil industry or something and I would, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't care if my boyfriend didn't have a car. Yeah, I would like you even if your you name, to work. if your name rhymed with Rat frat bix. She's just got those doeful eyes that really cut deep and say something. He's obsessed with the eyes. When I get LASIK and I say, hey, give me the doeful eyes. Give me the, the um, passionate doeful eyes. Me trying to find Roblo free Roblox skins. <laughs> Matt still thinks she hasn't fully opened up. Do you still feel like there's a part of me that you're not sure about? Maybe a teeny tiny bit. The final elimination. The moment we've been waiting for. What would you do to be with him? I would do anything to be with him. Mm, I don't know. I would throw you guys under the bus, besmirch your character, contact the royal embassy. He pulls aside Kelly and she proceeds to make him incredibly uncomfortable. I think that you're like the ultimate man. I just want you to like me for who I am. That's all that you've portrayed to me. Just. You're inspirational to me. You Honestly, don't say that. I'm not. I'm, yes, I'm nothing are. compared to what you've done. No. And you have served your. No, honestly, and town nothing and your like. Country. This is the most awkward one. You've served your town and your country. Thank you for your service. Everything you've done for England. Please stop. No, 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 no. Matt then rejects Kelly. This is so hard to hear. Now these girls that didn't even give a about being here for the right reason are gonna get to be with you? Imagine her first Google search after leaving this show. Looking up a picture of Prince Harry and being like, she pulls up a picture of Prince Harry on Wikipedia and then she's flipping through all of her hand-drawn portraits of him. So going back and forth. Oh my God, oh my God. And now we have two girls left. At this point, they are both head over heels for Prince Harry. They both prepare nervously for either a proposal or a heartbreak. The girls are taken out into a beautiful winter wonderland, and now it's time for Matt to make his final decision. I have a completely white bum after this. <laughs> Sir, I have a feeling you have a completely white bum. <laughs> what do you mean after this? Matt pulls Karina aside and breaks up with her. I was definitely like finally believing in love, and what's embarrassing is that I was so wrong. I would have loved for him to include 
the fact that he's not Prince Harry. So we could get her live reaction to that. I think the best consolation for a breakup with Prince Harry is realizing he he's wasn't Prince, Prince Harry. Harry. And I'm glad I got to learn a lot of things about you. There's more to learn. Bruh. Fox was really like, how can we make it look like he has dandruff throughout the most important scene in the show? Matt chooses Kim and she's overjoyed. Are you serious right now? Really? And now is the last phase of the experiment. The part that we were all actually waiting for. There's one more thing you should know. Oh no. What? He tells Kim who he really is. I'm not Prince Harry. My name is Matthew. There have just been some small fabrication. Small fabrication! <laughs> Me when I remember I'm on national TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at first she was like... The whole time? she was like... Yeah. She tells him she still likes him. I'm so glad you're the person I thought you were. In comes Kingsley with the surprise. Kingsley's like, so my name's Chad. I'm Brian. They found me off Craigslist. A quarter of a million dollars will be split between the two of you as you embark on your life together. That's the money they saved on Kelly's date, going to the <laughs> diner. <laughs> The show's like, maybe we should throw them a little, yeah. throw them a bone. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. I feel like that was a little sprinkle for the emotional distress. I think all of the contestants should have received some prize money just for the emotional trauma that they've experienced. I'm being given $125,000 because I didn't care if this were Prince Harry. I'm sorry, but the transition with the horse-drawn carriage to like an Uber or something would be <laughs> jarring. The show sends off our blossoming new couple and they pedal towards their new future together. I feel more emotion seeing Kingsley locking up the palace. <laughs> the show aired in 2014, and we know from Kim that she kind of kept in touch with Matt for like a couple years, but nothing really serious happened between them. What I really want to know is what happened to Kingsley. Where's he? We need to catch up with Because he was the star of the show. made a lot of jokes in this video, especially during our reactions, but I think it's important to remember how royally f***ed this show actually was. Reality TV shows have a propensity to manipulate their contestants, but this show displays a particularly egregious lack of ethics or care for its contestants. We looked into the production aspect of this show a little bit after filming some of the reactions, and we weren't aware of how manipulative the production team truly was. We find out that the girls are not allowed to have private conversations unless there's a producer present. We find out that there's a therapist on set, but it's not actually a therapist, it's a producer who is just drilling into them the fact that this is Prince Harry and they need to stop questioning themselves. So these girls were flown out to a country they've never been to, they were isolated, they were pitted against each other, they were lied to constantly, they were manipulated, and I'm sorry, it was entertaining. I'd like to hear what you guys thought of the show. Did you guys think they went a little too far? Did you think it was funny? Put it in the comments. I would genuinely like to know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody who tuned in. Bye-bye.